So hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Imi. Hey, how you doing? You good? Cool, me too. Today's video is actually going to be another sustainable and zero waste video. If you have subscribed to me or if you just take a quick look down my channel, you'll see that I've done a few of these kind of videos regarding beauty products and regarding clothing as well as hack videos, which is real fun. Love the toothpaste, worked very well, so I recommend that. But today's gonna be a little bit of a different one. Today is going to be about the zero waste culture that has appeared, which is great. You know, it's a step in the right direction, but a lot of the time people are buying these items because they are trendy rather than because they need them. If you're new to this, zero waste is obviously having items that create as little waste as possible. For example, water bottles and straws. These are probably the biggest ones. These are very, very obvious. We've heard about this for a while. David Attenborough is all over that. But buying a plastic straw isn't gonna kill the ocean and a lot of the time people need them. People with disabilities need them, people who have a hard time, I don't know, they're just sometimes necessary. And unless you already use straws, don't go out and buy a pack of copper straws if you already don't need them. If you don't need straws for your cup of tea or your glass of water and you normally just drink it like a normal human being, don't go out of your way to buy straws because then you're creating the demand for more products to be created. And that's what Zero Waste is, being, is about. It's about stopping that demand of the product creation. Does that make sense? Here I have my copper straws. I bought these when I started uni and I use them all the bloody time. I use them for my water and I use them for my smoothies because Joe and I have a smoothie pretty much every day. I like the metal ones, but he doesn't really like the metal ones. So then we also have these plastic ones. These are reusable plastic ones. They are not one-time use ones. They are reusable. And we didn't buy these. We got some little glass, jar things about two years ago and the straws came with them the jar things have either gone to a friend or we've moved house a few times so i'm not sure what happened to those but we managed to keep the straws and joe likes these they're a little bit thicker but because we're not when we don't have a need for them that often joe's use them all the time i like mine he has his it's great we're not going to suddenly go out and buy a load of glass ones and bamboo ones on top of that because we don't use them that much, we don't need them that much, we don't drink everything with a straw because I normally use a bottle and Joe is dehydrated. Another example that I'm going to touch on is one that I saw in a recent video and it is glass jars. Now this always makes me laugh because I don't know what's edgy about drinking from a glass jar but I've done it. I get it. I will admit that I do it more if it's a smoothie because they're bigger and there's way more room for all the goodness but um and our glasses are very small i don't know why i drinking glasses so small it's because i really use them myself i literally just use my water bottle like all the time but glass jars you do not need to go out and buy a load of jars if you buy food and sauces and you will probably have a jar of some kind i know i certainly did and i keep them you just wash them out you keep them and then you reuse them for things that's it. We have one of those lovely mason jars that I am on about. Um, I actually did buy this for Chickpea Brine, which is also like aqua, aquafaba, aquafaba, I don't know. It's some sort of brine that you can use as an egg replacer. Anyway, I used that and I kept it in here. It was great, it was exactly what I needed. And I use this jar all the time. So buying one, it's not the end of the world. But for smaller jars, I get these all the time because of pestos and peanut butter and this one had honey that my mum got me last year I think from Cornwall and this is just a really cute nice jar and then this one was from almond butter. Yeah it's not the prettiest thing in the world but it doesn't need to be, it's just gonna sit in my fridge with a bit of quinoa in it like who cares, it's about creating the demand, I'm not gonna go out and buy loads of small jars when I have plenty of things that come in small jars all the time. Now one of the biggest categories of like aesthetics that I would say in the zero waste community is probably cleaning products which is obviously very surprising but one we do not need to be putting bleach down our toilets it is so damaging for the environment like if you want to start talking about not getting plastic straws in the ocean let's start talking about not putting bleach in the ocean shall we 
why do people people only like to like pretend that these things matter when it it doesn't mess with their aesthetic or their lifestyle like it's so frustrating but yes cleaner products i have been guilty i have been that person who has an oven cleaner a hole cleaner a muscle cleaner a, mul a kitchen cleaner a bathroom cleaner like i have been there because i didn't realize how effect like damaging they were and i'm not going to apologize for that i do wish i'd known earlier and it was naive of me not to but it's not being out there like i should not be blamed for my lack of knowledge when it's not being promoted to us if you follow the zero waste community you've probably seen one of these lovely amber bottles i love this i'm not gonna lie i love an aesthetic item but it works amazingly it smells better than any household cleaner i've had before and this i've probably had for like a month and this has done like my whole house fuck who am i kidding but this is great it's fantastic i love it but does it need to be in a number little bottle or do we have bottles like this already in my defense i didn't once i used my products i recycled them and i didn't think about it until i saw these and i was like oh my god i can make my own but you don't need to if you want to make your own cleaner and you already have one of these around your house this is like i said is an oven cleaner I will have this for a while longer because it's one of those ones you leave on for like a couple of hours. But once this is empty, am I going to make some of this and fill it up in here and keep this upstairs in my bathroom? Probably, because these are also expensive. And these, they are already in my house. So therefore, they are free. Again, continuing the cleaning theme we have going on. I have some cells, suds, Dr. Bronner's, Bronner's Biodegradable Cleaner. Um, this comes in a plastic bottle i'm guessing it's biodegradable i hope so but this honestly i didn't really know what it was i bought it because i knew that it was an effective concentrated good for the environment cleaner i'm not saying you need to go out and buy a bottle of this as your household cleaner but you can use this for everything it is multi-purpose you can use it as your laundry detergent you can use this as your household cleaner i don't use softener on my clothes you do not need softener on your clothes you just need them to be clean that is a myth let's shut that down shall we this is completely natural isn't dust on animals uses essential oils what does it also say no additives no synthetic preservatives biodegradable vegan it's it's all of these are good things it tells you how to use it oh you can use it on your cars floors rugs you can mix it with soda to make a scouring paste okay baking soda obviously not just like soda um but basically this is great you don't necessarily need it i bought this because we ran out of our fairy liquid and i was like let's just give it a go i've had it for probably a month and i've used about two thirds of it so i've used it quite a lot but that's also because we don't have a dishwasher we just hand wash everything um, actually we do have a dishwasher why am I saying that it's just broken and I don't want to bring it up to my landlord the next and the last clean item that I'm going to be talking about is sponges now obviously sponge if you're using like real sponge I wouldn't recommend it it's very damaging for the environment you've got to remember that it's being taken from like coral reefs and stuff just don't do it you can use sponges that are made out of fabric um such as these ones now these are bamboo sponges they came in a pack of five they have this like microfiber cloth this side and this like loopy <laughs> loopy it's like loops of fabric which is soft on this side uh, we ran out of our plastic scours i had been using those for such a long time like we bought one pack before we moved in bear in mind this is last august and they lasted until like last week um, these were ten pounds, like, like I said, for a pack of five. I bit the bullet and just got some of these because you get five of them, you stick them in your washing machine, and you can use them, you know, for as long as they last. They've been great. The difference between buying something that you don't necessarily need, such as the jars and the straws and the cleaning bottles, is that you're buying those for the aesthetic purposes rather than them having an immediate change on your home life. You don't necessarily need them. I completely ran out of sponges, I had nothing to clean my dishes with, and therefore I invested in these. Onto or back to kitchen stuff, I should say. I have got a beauty video out there, I remember go and watch my sustainable beauty video if you're interested in those kind of things because I talk about shaving and beauty products and feminine hygiene and stuff. It's all very important, something that you should take into consideration. 
But Tupperware, that is a big one. I bought new Tupperware when we moved in here. I do a lot of food prep. In fact, the other day I spent five hours in my kitchen from half seven till half midnight and um, that was fun. But food prepping, 28 meals was sick. But you do not need to go and buy a load of bamboo food boxes and tin food boxes because they are not gonna wear out after one use. Here I have my plastic rubber beads and here I have my food prep trays. I, uh, these are biodegradable ones, these are good for the environment, these, I don't know, I doubt it, but they are fine, they're not going anywhere, they're not damaged, they are not cracked, I do not need to bin them in the near future, it will be probably a couple of years before I do that, if they do start to discolour it and break and things, then I will invest in some sustainable, zero waste Tupperware, tins, whatever it is at the time and that suits my lifestyle. But for now, I do not need to go and buy a tin lunchbox or a bamboo lunchbox just because it suits the aesthetic. I'm good, I'm stuck. Now we have produce bags. These are the Instant Eco 100% cotton. You can see some little strawberry stains down there. Um, this is just a normal canvas bag and then inside came a load of these, you know, the netty ones, those. I um, buy a lot of our fruit and veg locally. I pick it up from the store and I don't use plastic bags for it. But if you have shopped in supermarkets for a long time and you have a hundred of those tiny little fiddly thin plastic bags that you put your produce in at supermarkets, just take those back to the supermarket. Do not go out of your way and buy a load of these if you have loads of those bags that need using because you're only gonna end up throwing those out. Use them until they have holes in them, until they start to smell, until you literally cannot use them anymore, and then recycle them or bin them, whatever you can do. But do not buy these until you need them. On that very same topic, beeswax paper, um, wrap, wash, reuse. This is obviously a reusable food wrap. Put it around an onion, put it around your bowl. It's great. But again, you can make this yourself if you have some cotton or if you just have some fabric you bet you can wash and cut up into whatever size you like and then you can buy beeswax and melt it down and coat it there, there's tutorials go on pinterest you can make these yourself um i didn't because like i said we have just moved into a new house we we're students we don't have loads of spare stuff that we can cut up unfortunately i'd have to buy fabric to make this and then you'll meet the demand of it again at least this is going to an eco company but yeah also they're just so cute they have these little blue bumblebees on them i love this now if you have seen all of the products i've talked about so far and you follow zero waste then you've probably also seen those lovely little silicon food storage bags that you can put in your fridge and your freezer like sandwich bags and stuff they're really cute but i don't have any i am planning to get some in the near future but I bought a pack of 60 press and seal food and freezer bags when I moved in and I never used them. So I might actually give them away to somebody who will use them um, because I don't need them. I don't need to be creating this kind of waste in my house. But because I don't use these, am I going to be using some silicone sandwich bags? Probably not. Maybe when uni starts, I might start making sandwiches for Joe and myself because that is something that I do want to do in the future. Um, but for the moment, I don't need them. So don't buy a product that you don't have a use for just because it's aesthetic. It's really dumb. Um, and if I do want to make sandwiches for the meantime, I have these. Now, lastly, but not least, I'm going to move on to my drinking implements area. Except for I did the straws and the jars earlier. I haven't really coordinated this very well, but we're just going to go with it. So again, back to that immediate changes versus long-term changes. If you buy a water bottle and if you buy a coffee mug, that is immediate trash. You cannot really reuse the item, so it is worth buying a reusable water bottle and a reusable coffee cup if you drink coffee and water daily. I mean, everyone should drink water daily. If you don't drink water daily, then, you know, think about your life a little bit. I have had this in a previous video. This is my keep cup. I love this keep cup. I actually got this before I started uni again. It's great. I can take my coffee to uni. Um, you get 10% off at places if you take it in. This one is heavy, it is glass, but there are loads of different versions you can get yourself. If you haven't seen them, you're living under a rock. 
this for me i'm a big coffee drinker especially when it comes to that pumpkin spice latte season and starbucks christmas drink season season because can you tell i'm a white girl so therefore i have to let everybody know that i have my gingerbread latte and i'm doing it sustainably now i'm on to my very last item and this was actually sent to me very recently so i'd like to say a huge thank you to jeds for sending me this water bottle i will be linking them down below as well as everything else i've talked about um this is a new startup company it's owned by a father and son john and ed hence jeds and they were also kind enough to engrave it with my name this is full of water right now because i've been drinking out of this since i got it last i think i got this last friday and I've literally been using it ever since, which is so gross, but that's me. So quickly, a little bit about Jeds. Obviously, they were firstly kind enough to send me this bottle and engraver, which is so cute. But you can also get these bottles in three other colours. You can get them obviously in white, but then blue, orange and black. Um, they obviously are trying to do their bit to reduce single waste plastics, which is fantastic, as we all should. The best bit about it as well is that for every bottle that's bought, one pound is donated to safe water initiatives so they are helping other people as well as helping the planet which is just fantastic and also this bottle is great i really like this bit because on my like other bottles it's like a little bit taller and a little bulkier i think it's just compact i like it different design just looks a little more cool so that is everything that i kind of wanted to show you and talk about today I know I wasn't a particular haul or anything, but I just wanted to spread the message that you do not have to buy zero waste products to live a zero waste lifestyle. That's kind of defeating the object. If you have an old duvet, cut it up and make it into tea, ta tea towels and cleaning cloths and your face makeup remover pads. Everyone is in different positions. Don't judge anyone for their decisions if it's in the right direction and with good intentions but you need to be a little more considerate as to why you're doing it and not just to say you're sustainable, you know. Like I said, I will link the products that I've talked about down below, but don't buy them if you don't need them. I'm not getting anything from it. I'm not promoting them. I'm just saying, saying my honest opinion. This is what was worked for me. These are the things that I have needed and have added value to my life and have helped me out and helped my lifestyle be more zero waste. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and I will see you next time. Bye.